welcome to Sarah's Stampin' Retreat. Today I'm taking part in the Kendra's Card Challenge card. So I'm going to be creating a card from one of her sketches. So if you've never heard of Kendra's Card Challenge before, Kendra does a massive piece of work once every three months, giving us all the dimensions to cut up six pieces of six by six inch pattern paper. And then she turns those into card sketches for 15 cards. So if you follow along on the cop today, then you'll see every one of those 15 cards being made. We're making number five here. So that'll give you lots of ideas. So let's get started on this and I'll tell you a bit more about the challenge and the prizes to be won as we go. So for my card today, I'm gonna to be using this Pink and Main Beach Bay pattern paper. And then I'll also be using a little die cut parrot, which is from the May Spellbinders Day of the Month. You can still get it on their website. So I'm going to start off with a bit of an ink blending. So I've got a five and a half by four and a quarter inch card blank. And I'm going to blend Salvage Patina, Broken China and, Dis and Peacock Feathers ink across there. So I'm going to start at the top with the Salvage Patina. And if you've watched my videos before, you know I like to go in with a rough covering of the colours first. And then I'll go back in after I've got a bit of each colour down to kind of blend it properly and make it look nice. And if you wanted to see more ideas for these sketches, I'm going to do a video on Thursday where I'm going to create all 15 of the cards. So I'm happy with how that looks now. And then this is the three and a half inch circle that you can see here on the sketch. And I'm going to ink blend on this as well. So I've got spun sugar, kitsch flamingo and saltwater taffy for this one. Then there's my circle to go on there. I want to go with these kind of tropically type colours that sit back nicely with the papers. So then I've cut out all the pieces for the parrot from that May small day of the month. And as I put them together, I'll talk to you about the prizes. So there are two sets of prizes for Kendra's card challenge. One set is for the hop that we're doing today. And that's a huge load of products that you can win by entering the competition from these hops. So you can enter once at each hop. You have to fill it in the form that is in the description below. And you can enter once for each video that you watch on the hop. And each video will have a different passcode that you'll need to enter into that form. So, the passcode for my video today is Pear Blossom Press. So, all of the passcodes for this hop are people that have sponsored this set of Kendra's Card Challenges. So, Pear Blossom Press have donated a $25 gift card to the main competition. But for today, you need to enter that into the form, and then that will give you a chance to win this huge set of prizes that I'm about to put on screen. And the more videos you watch, the more times you fill in that form and enter, the more chances you've got to win that prize. So then the other set of prizes is to do with the challenge itself. So if you head over to Patreon, which again, I'll link in the description below, then you can join as a free member of Kendra's Card Challenge Patreon. And as a free member, you'll be able to download this, which shows you the cutting guides, the measurements, the sketches, everything that you need to create this month's set of 15 cards. So then you can create those cards and upload them onto the Kendra's Card Challenge Facebook page. And then you'll also be in with a chance of winning some amazing sponsor prizes. So like I mentioned, one of them is the $25 gift card from Pear Blossom Press. There's loads of 
sponsors that have donated gift cards and prizes and like I say you'll be in with a chance of winning one of those if you enter so I hope that all makes sense I will pop all the details in the description below so head there if you need any of the links or anything and yeah I'm just going to repeat it for this stuff the passcode is pear blossom press so our little parrot's coming along nicely I'm just going to cut a piece to go behind his tummy and I can add his wing on his feet so there's that finished so then let's create these panels here so we've got a five and a half by one and a half inch layer so that's this black layer we've got a five and a half by one and a quarter inch strip of pattern paper so that's from that pack I showed you earlier I'm going to glue those together then I've got this piece that's labeled paper D that's one by two inches so we're just going to add a little tag end into there then I've got this piece here I'm going to add another tab end into that's the three quarters of an inch by one inch piece and then we want to glue these on here like shown in there so that's that piece so then I'm going to bring in my scrap of paper so I want to heat emboss my sentiment on this piece of black cardstock I'm going to stamp this on this piece of cardstock and then I'm going to use my wow bright white embossing powder so then I've not got a lot of room on mine so I'm not going to do these little tab ends on here so then I can just put it all together so first thing to do is to glue on my circle then I can glue on this piece so then I'm going to add my happy birthday on with some foam strips and I'll pop some foam pads behind my parrot then I think I'll add on these little leaves as well these are from the same die set as the parrot and then there's our cute little card finished so don't forget to head over to patreon to download your set of card sketches and also to hop along and enter the competition at each stop to have the maximum chance of winning that awesome prize bundle so i really hope that you enjoyed creating today's card with me if you did i'd really appreciate you clicking like below and you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos if you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will also notify you when I've got a new video available. All of the products that I've used for today's card are listed in the description below. And there's also a link there to my blog where you can find a picture supply list if that helps you find what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.